everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm here with the kickoff video for my 2019 Project Wax. Um, Project Wax was something I first did in 2015 and then I did it again in 2016. But for the last few years, I haven't really had a need to do a Project Wax. But in 2018, I ended up with a lot of candles. I really love the Bath & Body Works 3 Wick candles and I love to switch them up seasonally, but this past year, I really wasn't able to get through the candles that I purchased for each season. So now, 2019, I have a lot of candles, um, so I really thought that it would be a good time to do this project again. With this project, I'll be doing monthly updates where I'll talk about the candles I used up over the past month and kind of just show you, share my progress with the candles I was able to use up all together. Um, and with my previous project waxes, I was on like a candle no buy. Um, since this project will probably last for the whole year, I'm not going to do a complete no buy, but I'm more doing like a candle low buy. I really want to be thoughtful about adding any candles to my collection, especially Bath and Body Works. I really want to think like, do I really need it? I'm going to be able to use it up in the current season. Um, and is it something interesting or unique to add to my collection? So I really don't need to buy anything, but I really want to, if I am adding something, really think about it. So if I do purchase anything, I will be sharing it in these videos and I will be adding that candle into the project. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So I think this will last the whole year. I do have 20 candles. Um, 14, 14 of them are three wick candles and then I have six sort of miscellaneous candles. Um, most of the candles I haven't burnt at all. They're completely unused. A few of them though I have um, burnt a little bit or like half of it. Um, so it's not 20 like three wick candles basically. But anyway, I will start off with the three wick candles and then I'll share the sort of miscellaneous candles. So for three wick candles, I'll go by season. So I'll start off with the winter candles. Um, for winter candles, I have four of them. So firstly, I have um, two, actually two of the peppermint marshmallow candles. Um, the, the notes on this are um, peppermint and spearmint essential oils with notes of powdered sugar and marshmallow. So I really love this peppermint marshmallow candle. I haven't been able to burn it yet, but it is the candle that I'm burning, planning to burn next. Um, I did end up with two of them. So this is the other one. It's in different packaging. So my mom had ordered a bunch of candles uh, for like Christmas gifts and I think two of the peppermint marshmallow ones that she had ordered came broken. So Bath and Body Works sent her like replacement candles but she was able to keep the wax. So she gave me the wax of one of them and I just put it in another container. Um, so I think I'll burn this one first, the peppermint marshmallow in the other packaging. Um, so I'll burn that like in January or like this winter and then this one will be more for next winter, so I'll plan to burn this towards the end of the year. Uh, but those are the first two candles. The next one is also from that same collection. This is Champagne Toast. Um, this one is made with citrus and orange essential oils, and it's notes of bubbly champagne with sparkling berries. I really like Champagne Toast. I know it's supposed to be more of a New Year's candle, but I never end up burning it around New Year's. But I think it's a good like sort of end of winter, like beginning of spring candle because it is like more fruity. So even though it's technically winter, I don't mind burning this like later in the year. So that's champagne toast. Um, and then finally for my fourth winter candle, I have marshmallow fireside. Now technically I think this is a fall slash winter candle, but I really like burning it more in winter. Um, this one has it's made with cedar wood and Palo Santo essential oils, and it has notes of toasted marshmallow and vanilla. So this one is one I would definitely want to burn this winter as well. So those are my winter candles, which hopefully three of them I will be able to get through um, in the next few months when we're still in winter, and then the other peppermint marshmallow one will be for like December of this year. Uh, the next category of candles are all of my sort of fruity, like summery, spring summer candles. So for this category, I have five candles. Two of them were from like spring summer collections in 2018 that I wasn't able to burn through. And then three of them actually got at candle day in December. 
So candle day, I already had at that point all my sort of winter candles. So when I was at candle day, I was looking for like summery candles that I could burn. So that's kind of what I have. So the ones that I had from 2018 spring summer um, were from this like sort of marbled collection. Um, I actually went to store because I had seen this um, Mermaid Lagoon candle online that looked really pretty. So I'm like, I need that candle. But really it's just a sticker. And the scent of this isn't like that special. So sometimes like just because you see something online that looks cool or it looks cool doesn't necessarily mean you need to buy it. Um, but this candle has notes of shimmering ocean water, tear, flower, and sea mist. And just on cold scent, the scent isn't like that amazing i'm not like that captivated by it but you know maybe it will be better when it's burning but i definitely need to burn through this candle this like spring summer um and the other candle from that collection is one that i've had before i do like this candle but i don't know if i necessarily needed to buy it especially this packaging i like the blue and green packaging of this better than this sort of um like lighter type packaging but this is pineapple mango which is just fresh pineapple juice mingle and vine ripe and raspberry but mainly from this i do get the mix of the mango and pineapple so this is a good one this will be good for um summer um time and then the three candles i got candle day um were um white tea and ginger um, this one has, the notes on this are really weird. It says the notes are thyme, sage oil, and sandalwood. But it's supposed to be white tea and ginger. And when I'm smelling it, I definitely get a tea sort of scent. It kind of smells like the um, London or the um, lemon tea sort of candle. That was one candle I was kind of on the lookout during candle day that I wasn't able to find. So this one's pretty close to that. So I am really excited to burn this. I love like tea. So I think this will be a great sort of like springtime candle. So um, I have that one. And then the other two were um, white peach, which this one has notes of juicy peaches, dew covered leaves, and a hint of vanilla. So Bath and Body Works has a lot of like peach candles, they have the um, peach bellini. I'm not really sure if this one is just peach bellini, like renamed or repackaged, um, but I do like peach candles and I love peaches in like summertime. So I think this one may be a good, again, a good like summer candle. And then my fifth summer candle that is a three wick is watermelon lemonade. Um, this one has notes of watermelon ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. So I really like watermelon lemonade. I've been burning it the past few summers. I think it's just interesting. Um, I don't really have a lot of or smell a lot of watermelon candles. I think when this first came out, it was very different. I think now that it's more of a classic Bath & Body Works scent, it's not as different. But um, I don't know. I really like this one. I think it has a really nice throw. So this is another one I'm excited to burn this up upcoming summer. So those are my summer candles. Um, next I have fall candles. So for fall, I had my original like haul of fall candles and it was, you know, like the perfect amount. I think I had four candles. That's the amount of candles I actually ended up going through this fall. Um, but then I went back to Bath and Body Works on another day and saw like some different collections that I didn't see when I originally purchased the candles. And then I also got, um, a candle from a friend. So from a friend I had gotten the autumn candle, which I love the autumn candle. It's one of my favorite ones I burn every year. So I'd actually purchased it for myself and then got it as a gift. So it's kind of like an extra one. So this one I definitely will be burning this upcoming fall. Um, the autumn candle, it's just super nice. It's like an apple scent with a little bit of like outdoorsiness to it. So this has um, bright red gala apple, juicy fig, eucalyptus leaf, and fir balsam. So definitely excited to burn this one, this upcoming fall. Um, I also have the candle leaves. So I like all these candles. It's just like I have too many to burn in a certain season. So for leaves, it's crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. So this one's like autumn. It's an apple scent, but it's more spicy. Um, I really enjoy leaves as well. That's my problem is I just like too many scents that I just buy too many that I can't get through. But that's leaf, so that will definitely be burning this upcoming fall. And then the third one that I have for fall candles is Harvest Gathering. 
And this one, I just love the packaging. It's so cute. So this is one of the collections that I saw on my second trip to Bath and Body Works um, that I didn't see when I was originally buying fall candles. So I saw this collection. I thought it was so cute. And I was like, I have to have something so cute. I love the frosted glass and the sticker. But I don't know why they do that. I feel like it's probably on purpose. They release like their initial like collections and then they come out with like a second wave that has like cuter stuff. So maybe when I buy stuff, I need to wait until like the full collection is released and try not to buy stuff as early, which I think I can do this year because I already have a bunch of stuff. So I can kind of wait and see if there's anything like spectacular and then maybe purchase just like a few things. Um, but this one has notes of fresh picked apples, um, autumn berries, and clove buds, which actually sounds very similar to leaves. So I wonder if they're actually the same candle. They do smell a little bit different. I'm not sure how different these would be when they're burnt, um, but these do have similar fragrance notes but that is one I do want to burn um, this upcoming fall as well so those are all my seasonal like three wicks I do have two additional three wicks that are more like aromatherapy type candles so these ones I have um, burnt this past year but I just want to use them up so I have the aromatherapy. This is the Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint Candle. So this one is nice. If I'm feeling stressed, it's nice to have like some aromatherapy candles. Um, so this one I want to try to use up. This one is just made with eucalyptus and spearmint essential oils. So pretty simple candle, but it's nice if I'm feeling overwhelmed, one to like pull out. So I just want to remember to use these. And then the other one that I have is um, French lavender. So it's not really a aromatherapy candle, but it's lavender, so it really technically is. This one I was burning, I remember, I can only take this in small doses. I was burning this this past year, and it was kind of like too overwhelming. It was almost sort of burning my eyes. Um, so I wanna burn this one sparingly, but I do wanna use this one up as well. And this one is just lavender essential oils. So um, that is my final three wick. So those are all the three wicks, and then I do have six sort of miscellaneous candles. So for the miscellaneous candles, I have quite a few that are from, like that are sold at like Anthropology. So I have the Volcano candle. This is from Capri Blue. Um, I really love this candle. It's like the iconic like Anthropology scent. So I had one of these. I was kind of using it as decoration. Um, and I hadn't burnt through it yet, and then I got one for Christmas. So I have two of these currently, so I'm only gonna focus on burning up one and the other one will be more decorative. And maybe like next year, I'll try to burn the other one. But um, this one is definitely a great, like it's fruity. I don't know, it's just, I love this candle so much. So this is definitely one I'll be burning this summer. Another candle that I want to burn this summer, also from Anthropology or sold at Anthropology, this is the Illumi um, Peach and Thai Basil candle. I got this one for my birthday. First of all, I just love the packaging of it, but the scent of it is also great. I mainly get the basil scent, which I love candles, like herbal sort of candles or like green note type of candles. Um, so I'm really excited to burn this one um, this upcoming summer. I have a few from Velispa. Also, this brand sold at Anthropology. I believe they're also sold at Sephora now. Um, but I have more of a winter candle. This one, the packaging is super cute. It looks like a little peppermint candy, but this is the Velispa um, Crush Candy Cane. I really love like minty sort of candles. So I think this will be great. Something I have to burn soon though when we're still in winter. Um, but it's just like a little candy shaped candy scented candle um so i definitely want to use that one and then the other one from blispa that i have is a scent that i've burnt before that i've really enjoyed um this is the goji taroka orange candle from blispa and this one i was using this past year i just didn't use it up so i have about half of it burnt so it shouldn't be that hard for me to get through the rest of it but it's one i do want to use um, and not just have like sit in a drawer um, and then I have a few little smaller candles. One is a little mini candle from Bath & Body Works. This is the Virgo candle. 
So they came out, I think this past year, they've had maybe for a few years like astrological sign candles. Um, it's kind of fun. Um, that's what the, that one looks like. Um, the only thing with these is they don't, they didn't like develop new scents for all the astrological signs. They kind of use existing scents and then like all of the earth signs were, this is um, rose water and ivy scent. Um, so they kind of lumped like all the earth signs to one set, all the water signs to one set. So they could have pushed it a little more of the collection, but it's still kind of cute. And I'm glad for Virgo, it's the rose water and ivy set. I love that set. I had that candle this past year and really enjoyed it. Um, so I'm glad I at least have a mini of it. If I'm not going to let myself buy a full size of it, at least I have a mini um, and I think this one will be a good one to burn like around my birthday. It's a good like little nightstand candle. So I have that one. And then the final candle is just a little votive. Um, this is a honey candle. This one my mom actually got for Christmas from a friend. She got like a bunch of like honey scented or like bee themed gifts. It was super cute. And she got a few of these votives. So she gave me one of them. Um, this is the Root Honey Blends. It's a hun wooded honey candle. And I had all of my candles like set out to film and I know everything else is in like glass packaging so it's harder to smell once the lids are on um, all the three wick candles but this one I could really smell just this little votive. Um, it's just a honey scented candle. I love anything honey scented so I'm really excited to burn this one as well. So this will be a great sort of spring candle I think. So that is everything, all of my candles. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to do this. I'm just excited to just work through what I have, like enjoy what I have versus just always buying, buying, buying. So I'm hopeful this next year, I'm not going to completely not buy any candles, but I just hope that I can buy like very few candles and just focus on what I have. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this series. I will be doing monthly updates. So I'll have um, an update in a month's time just going over what I was able to go through in the past month. And yeah, that is my video. That is the kickoff for this new project. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.